into low date, not into low date. Wow. Someone has pointed it out, but then, you know, while on the show, I'm overexcited and uh, I did not do it properly. So let me see. If, I think Ashif or Hilal has, uh, uh, has told me this. Low date. Yeah, I'm doing it correct. It's not the low date. Okay, maybe in the in the transform I was using uh, low date or low date. I'm sorry guys. Someone has mentioned it to me, but then my poor brain did not get it because it's just a confusion. Uh, the name was, I think I have put it here as a low date, not the load, low date, not the low date. So that's fine. So if type 1 is clear, now let us make a right judgment to go into type 2. So generally you say me guys, what will you do without a tool? How do you want it to build a type 2 without ETL tool? Any one of you can throw your pseudocode ideas. So when you are a programmer, first thing is you will put down an algorithm, right? The algorithm will say, okay, my program has to come up with like this. I have a uh, customer in target table. Now if the change of address appears for this customer, I want it to keep his current address, but end date it, flag it, and then insert the new address. That is my requirement. Any one of you guys, take a chance, put your thoughts there, give me an algorithm, give me some pseudocode, how you are going to do without an ETL tool, like data services or any the other tool. Without that even you can maintain type 2. Go ahead, take a chance now. Guys, world is too fast. You should be creative and you should be competitive. So, take a chance, throw your ideas. It can be a dump idea, but that's fine. Uh, application side, uh, come again. I didn't get you actually. Uh huh. Uh, then it will duplicate the customer. Uh, but it will duplicate the customer, right? Whether it is in any application even. Now our target is data warehouse, guys. Yeah, that is one way that uh, whatever you are telling will get only if there, if there is a change in the address, it will get that. Perfect. But how are you going to load? Okay, the first step, whatever your pseudocode has to do, you got it right. You don't want to get the, all the address. Instead, you are putting a case saying if there is a change of address, only get that customer. You are good there. You have got the data from four. Now, tell me the code, how you insert into the target. How you will annotate the customer, the first record and insert a new record. That is the scenario now. Yeah, think about it. It is not that bad as you think. <laughs> so think about it. You should be able to get it. Silence is too violent. I know uh, to think about all this logic, you require some time. But still, think about it. Uh, it is not a very complex logic even if we wanted to write outside uh, data services. Any SQL, it is actually a sequence of steps. Think it as a sequence of steps. Don't try to climb the first floor from uh, ground floor at a time. Take step by step approach. First you will have to put on a paper to write a pseudocode. Whatever uh, Syed told is correct. Identify only the source changes. The second thing is get the data. The third thing is outdate the data in the target. The fourth thing is insert the new data. Fifth thing is put the start date and end date. Finally put the current current indicate. So it is step by step approach. Do that. Think in your mind and you should come up with a good solution for that. Am I too fast guys? Uh, you are not able to catch me or is it... Uh, is it not something understandable? Tell me guys. I am trying to uh, just keep up the spirit and uh, keep going. Uh, 
and then rally two days. I'm going to repeat all this and tell you what I'm trying to do here. Don't worry about it. Because first thing is I'll have to manufacture before I, I'll show it to you, right? So, so you are still seeing me. Whatever we are doing is correct. But uh, you will not understand what I am trying to do here. So I will tell you what I am doing. In this, I am putting valid from start date and valid to is end date. Valid to date, I am giving this particular date, or I can always give the global variable which is my high date. Okay, old record, valid from day to new record. Use one day before. I use this one day before, else there will be a conflict. And then the flag column, I will use the current indicator. Set the value. I want it to pass a zero. So I already had a variable called as z0. Did I remove that? I have it. z0. Reset the value. Uh, I will have to manually give this because it's going to be one. So let us see if this gets validated and run successfully and without any issues. Then we will do it. Uh, in here, I don't want it to do use input keys not required anymore because we are building the type to transformation it should not update it should insert I mean it, it, here it has to do two things it has to update the current record and insert a new record so let me see if this works I will explain you what I try to do I will re repeat the entire process whatever I have used there see that's where the tools make our life easier tools are are or uh, like the fulcrum, if you want to lift a huge stone, if you use a small stick by which you can move that, uh, move that um, stone easily, but it is the actual energy is your own. All you are using is a technique. So tool is a technique here we are using which makes the developer life easier. So I run this job. Oh, you know, the funniest thing, we did not change any address in the source. You guys should tell me, man, I did it as a type 1, but now I have to go back and then uh, change something in the source, only then it reflects, right? Or else everything is the same, how can it update? So, in the overview, I go to this and say edit table, and we will go with the same faster networks. So instead of this, I will put it as civic center drive. And let me also modify something else like usable software. I don't want to make it, uh, I want to open a branch in Indianapolis. So I will make it as training cloud. Okay, we have two changes. The two changes will reflect whether it is a name change or address change, I'm fine. But I want to capture both of them. So apply changes and uh, run the query to see if it worked or not. So uh, Bombay Street is still there. Oh, nothing, nothing changed. Why? So I have to say apply changes to data. Go back and run it. Proof. Why is it not changing, guys? Come on. <laughs> you know what? I'm looking at the target and none of you noticed. This is a target query, guys. Come on. I have to go to ODS and uh, look at this one. Yes, it got updated. Civic Center Drive is one update and Training Clouds is one update. Let me rerun this job. Guys, uh, it may be a little confusing for you what I am trying to do very quick. But what I try to do is I am changing a source address or, or a source field so that we record it as a type 2 dimension because a customer is very important for me. I wanted to maintain his history, send him sweet promos. Uh, the promo will help me 
to get a good customer relationship and uh, increase my business or expand my business so I'm trying to do the same thing here now I go back to EDW overview and the query on the customer empty. perfect so you will see now something would have changed here 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 yeah and you have to notice the right hand side the current indicator is changed the end date is changed i i just have put a uh, wrong end date here so that we understand what we are doing here you see here you think it is a wrong end date no then you are wrong uh, let me actually sort it and you will understand it uh, when you see side by side you will understand it again. so what we try to do is this particular record see here get a closer look the first record is actually the earlier address 55 bombay street san rafael the region id was still 4 and and uh, we have updated the address in source as civic center drive so this particular first address was valid from 2011 918 till 2011 917 that is a mistake the reason being I, I it is not a wrong address we are going to make it work this has to be actually a, a old date but i have put the current date when we end date something we will end date with yesterday and we will start his new address today so that is only because our start date was used as system date that's a mistake but if we go and change it it will work fine but try to understand that this is the latest address his current indicator is updated as zero and it is starting today this is his address earlier his address was this don't get confused with the start date i'm going to redo the entire thing when i explain you again but i got it really easy in the first shot that is very important so if you see here this particular one is this the okay this this particular one is also updated by me this is the type 2 dimension exactly forget about the dates for a second we are going to redo the process and you will understand what has happened with the dates but try to understand this is the uh, uh, time to dimension uh, type 2 dimension slowly changing dimension I am building using my tool so what I am trying to